story to tell. The same Western fighter, born during the Cold War, the Mirage 2000 and F-16 Falcon are both classified as light fighter, single engine. When first born, both of these fighters prioritized the mission of air superiority against Soviet aircraft. The Mirage 2000 was also Europe's first fourth-generation fighter, and thanks to this type of fighter, the world still remembers Europe. Europe was once the world's leading fighter design and manufacturing center, but was out of breath in the Soviet-American arms race. As mentioned above, the starting F-16 and the Mirage 2000 were both light fighters, prioritized for the mission of air superiority. But later on, before the trend of development, these aircraft were improved, upgraded, and performed multitasking. Although they are all of Western origin, which fighter type is more superior? The Mirage 2000 was produced by Dassault Aviation, a design using the art wing typical of Europe. In terms of speed, it is possible to reach a maximum speed of up to Mark 2.2, equivalent to 2336 km per hour at high altitude, or it can reach 1110 km per hour at low altitude. The F-16, manufactured by General Dynamics, currently Lockheed Martin, has a slightly slower speed than the Mirage 2000. The F-16 can only reach top speed slightly above Mark II, or 2,120 km per hour. But in return, the F-16 is better than the Mirage 2000 in terms of fuel economy. In terms of weapons, the Mirage 2000 fighter has 9 hard points and a combat range of 1,850 km. In addition, the Mirage 2000 can also carry tactical nuclear weapons. In addition to the 230mm DEFA 554 revolver cannon used for close-range combat, the Mirage 2000 is also equipped with two Matra 68mm and guided rocket pods, 18 rockets per part to attack ground targets. The Mirage 2000 fighter is capable of launching a wide variety of French made air to air and air to surface missiles. But the F-16's strong point is its payload capacity. The F-16 also has a total of 9 hard points. In terms of weaponry, the F-16 is superior to the Mirage 2000 fighter. The F-16 is equipped with a better 20mm M61A1 Vulcan 6-barrel rotary cannon, 511 rounds with a rate of fire up to 6,000 rounds per minute. In addition, it can carry a variety of air-to-air, air-to-ground missiles, rockets, bombs, and electronic jammers. In terms of rate of clamp, the Mirage wins the F-16 in this case. While the Mirage has a maximum rate of climb of 285 meters per second, the F-16 is only 220 meters per second. 
If you compare the sizes of these two aircraft, it explains them all. The Mirage has an empty weight of 7,500 kg and a maximum takeoff weight of 17,000 kg, while the F-16 has an empty weight of 8,570 kg with a maximum takeoff weight of 19,200 kg. The Mirage 2000 can reach a ceiling of 17,000 meters, while that of the F-16 is 15,000 meters. In terms of range, according to manufacturer Lockheed Martin, the F-16C version has a fair range of 4,217 kilometers, while the Mirage is 3,335 kilometers. Thus, the range of the F-16 is much better than the Mirage 2000. In terms of combat capabilities, the Mirage 2000 is primarily known for its ability to perform ground attack operations. A Mirage 2000 can carry at least two laser guided bombs, capable of precisely destroying main targets on the ground. With the ability to carry a relatively large weapon load, as well as thanks to the strong improvements and upgrades, the Mirage 2000 can perform well in the air-to-air -air mission. The weakness is that the Mirage 2000 can only use French-made weapons, which also limits the fighter's capabilities. The F-16 is more suitable for air combat due to its high maneuverability and great acceleration, up to 9G. Moreover, the cockpit of the F-16 is highly regarded. This is the first own glass cockpit. The seat is arranged in a high position, so the pilot has a 360-degree view, thereby greatly improves accuracy in every action. As can be seen, the Mirage 2000 is primarily known for its ability to carry out bombing operations, while the F-16 has an advantage in air combat. Although both are light fighters, the Mirage 2000 costs a lot more to operate than the F-16. Specifically, the ground infrastructure for the Mirage 2000 is three times more expensive than the F-16. 1.5 times higher fuel consumption for the same journey. Since the first F-16 took off 45 years ago, 4,500 have been built and does not appear to stop, as there is still demand. Hence, the F-16 has been extremely successful in terms of sales. Meanwhile, only about 600 Mirage 2000 were built, and France has discontinued production since 2003 because it could not find customers. My video of Mirage 2000 and F-16 Falcon ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.